welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome. Uh, I make fashion beauty content here and over on my Instagram. If you are not new here, hello again, my dearest friend. It's been too long. In today's video, I want to do more of kind of like a collective haul, a little mix of a bunch of different stuff. So kind of like thrift stuff that I've had sent to me. Uh, things like that and just kind of talking about like my decision kind of thing on like why i pick out some of the things i do it's a little bit more thought out than like a normal like haul it's just kind of like these are recent things that i've gotten and like why i got them <laughs> so i just kind of want to talk about those since i feel like with thrifting there is a thought process that goes into what makes each piece something that's a little bit more along the lines of fitting for me you know so in this case we're in front of my spooky bookshelf yeah i guess it's decorated for halloween and every other day of the year anyway so we'll just go ahead and jump on in a lot of the things that i'm actually going to be talking about are thrifted <laughs> there's a few items in here that aren't but most of them are going to be thrifted so one if you do follow me over on my instagram you would have seen like my recent like mini thrift haul reel that i did which was just basically like a few items that i had like recently thrifted and thought were kind of cool and i wanted to just kind of show really quickly there but i want to talk a bit more in depth about like each of the pieces and like why i selected them so one of the first things and this is something i'm actually very excited about um is this like long line of got a hood i do also have like larger hair so like hoods aren't really my favorite thing but i don't hate them enough to like dislike that i also feel like this hood's like nice because it's bigger it's a wider hood so it feels like it can actually contain all of my hair you know because that's the point of the hood anyway but i like the flaps on the front of this jacket a lot there's no pockets and it didn't come with the belt i got this at google i think it was like 6.99 or something like that uh honestly it's still because it still had the tags from forever 21 on it this is in a size extra small but it fits me really well i'm normally in forever 21 stuff like a size small but i was a bit surprised with this being extra small and it fit me and the sleeves actually come down the full length on my arm because i'm a long arm noodle I like this. I do have another kind of coat jacket similar to this, but it's thicker material and it's plaid, so it's black and white instead, and it does come with the waist to wrap thingamabob. <laughs> and I like that one, but the problem I was having with that one is because it's a pattern, it makes it a bit more difficult to layer stuff when it does get cold outside because I have to kind of keep what I'm putting under the jacket itself a lot more simple. Granted, yeah, I do wear majority black all the time anyway, so you would think having like a more statement jacket wouldn't be that difficult to style in that case, but with it being my only thicker outerwear piece to wear, it does make it kind of hard when it does get chilly outside because it's like this is my only jacket I can actually wear. So all of my outfits just have to be all black all the time, which that is normal for me, but I like the option to be able to, you know, jump out with maybe a pattern. Or something like that so this one i kind of figured would be more like a fall winter kind of staple for me since that way it's black it goes with pretty much everything because that's the beauty of wearing all black as well i can pick out two items and we don't look kind of put together also continuing with that like thrift haul reel that i did i did get three different bottoms which i'm gonna very briefly talk about each of them because they're not like there's not that much to it so I got this, ooh, maybe I should button this up. I'm just gonna like kind of sort of button it up, but not really, because I have worn this, of course. There's a photo of me in it. I went bowling <laughs> in the skirt, which a lot of people ask me, how did I go bowling in a skirt? And it's as simple, I'm terrible at bowling, so it's not like I was gonna flash anybody because I have no idea what I'm doing. So <laughs> I also got this skirt. I believe it was like, maybe $4.99 at Google, I don't remember. But what really got me into the skirt was the fact that it is shorter. Um, that may sound kind of weird. Um, let me try to see how I can explain this. I have long legs and I like that I have long legs. I like wearing short skirts and short shorts that I do like how I look in that. I feel like it flatters my figure a lot better. 
So I actually enjoy when things are really short. So when I saw how short this skirt was, I was immediately into it. There was front pockets on it. I like that it was actually high-waisted. This may not look like it is, but it actually fits me up higher. And with the belt loops, I could basically make it fit as tight or as loose as I wanted to. Okay, and I did also get like two pairs of jeans. Now, I was actually on the hunt for jeans as when I went to Goodwill this, the time that I got these items here. And there was such a selection of jeans that were high waisted and in my size. I was already just like, oh my god, there's so many options. But I didn't get a whole bunch simply because I mostly wanted to get new all black jeans because um, those are hard to find, especially ones that don't fade because I have a lot of black jeans the moment that you wash them, they lose their hue on them. Um, and also when you're thrifting black jeans, you can also tell if they're gonna fade or not because of like how faded they look already in the thrift store. Cause you can already kind of assume that they have been well loved or at least worn and washed a few times. So with these I got as well, these are from Forever 21. They're in a size US 24. I think I got these, these were I think half off. So they were like, no, they think they were marked maybe like $3. I don't know. But these are high waisted, they're black, and they have like a cool, like, um, opposite kind of stitching, like in white, which I think is so flipping cute. I think that was so cute. I don't have any jeans like these at all. The pockets in the front are real. Um, I feel like we have to always like note that, but they're real pockets in the front. These fit me really well and the length also isn't too bad. I am like 5'6", but I'm like 90% leg, so most jeans actually don't come fully long enough on me. And they'll usually hit me right above my ankle, which is, in my humble opinion, high water territory. The next pair of jeans I got, surprisingly, I've never gotten Hollister jeans before, but I quite like these. Um, these are for the waist 24, length 28. Now, these are a little bit on the shorter side, lengthwise for me. Again, 90% leg. I have like so little upper body. <laughs> Front pockets on here are thick, which is fine, which is fine. Um, and the belt loops are actually really good. The fabric on these is really nice because there's like a decent amount of stretch to these. They fit really well. They're nice and high waisted. They kind of hit right at my belly button, which is beautiful love that love that for me the length though as i was stating is a little bit on the shorter side they're like right there towing the line between being high waters on me and being like the correct length um is this bodysuit and this is um from originally from nasty out it also originally had the tags and everything still on it when i got it i think this was also oh gosh i don't remember exactly how much this was but it was very inexpensive um it also has like the snap buttons at the bottom. Um, there's a picture of me on Instagram. I wore this on Halloween when I went to like a cake and with some friends and stuff. So this was really comfortable. Um, the material is kind of thin, but not so thin in the front where like I feel like I have to wear pasties. Cause I don't want to wear pasties. And with straps like this, I don't like to wear a bra either. And the reason for that simply being is I will wear a bra most of the time, <laughs> like I currently have one on now, but like I will wear a bra with something if I can hide the bra straps and the bra straps aren't like taking away from the top itself. But if I can't hide bra straps um, under the straps, then I'm just not going to wear a bra. And if I'm not going to wear a bra, I should also not be inconvenienced or should not be blatantly obvious that I don't have a bra on. Now this bodysuit is really cute in a sense where um, it has this like low, oh jeez, this like low V kind of detailing in the front. There is like a wire that goes in here. It fell out when I washed it recently. <laughs> I'm gonna sew it back in there, so it's not a big deal. Um, but it like stands up like right in the middle. It just looks really cute and different than like a normal like tank top bodysuit. Oh my god, I can't express how much I love this item already. I haven't even worn it, but I love this item with my entire being already. So this is it. It is like a leather jacket kind of cut. Um, faux snake skin, of course. <laughs> faux snake skin jacket. It is fully lined. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has these little pockets. I didn't even check, hold on. Oh gosh, these are real. <laughs> 
real pockets here with like such a cool like zipper detailing i love the flats on here i love the pattern it just is gorgeous and it's in a colorway that like of course is gonna match everything in the closet um of course so this is by the brand kenzie and it's in a medium doesn't really fit like a medium i'll be honest because like i the moment i put it on oh wow fits me perfectly the arm length is great um and it washed pretty easily too because of course you should wash everything you thrift before you wear it as i stated i am convinced that we have full four seasons and we don't but i'm gonna act like we do anyway so i got another jacket <laughs> this one i think is actually properly called a jacket jacket like s-h-a-c like jacket but with a s-h instead jacket i think that's what this is called i could be wrong don't quote me but i i saw the term referenced when i was watching jade fox's like fashion channel made looks um and she had actually had one similar to this but like in yellow and i thought the fit of it was so cute because it gives it makes me think of like a flannel but a lot better you know um, and this is basically the same thing, um, which is fun, funny enough because I had like just watched her video and then I saw this in the store and I was like, wow, that's so cool. It's like, this is way more my alley, way more my style. She since this is also a jacket, <laughs> since it's not quite a jacket and it's not really a flannel, it's like a nice in between. This is actually not that big. Um, I don't know if you'd fully be able to tell like how thick the material itself is. Like it's a nice soft kind of woolish kind of feeling material. What is this? It's acrylic. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. But the material isn't like insanely thick. But it's also not insanely thin either. I would honestly would say that even with the temperature outside that it currently is, it's like degrees this would be perfect because it's not intensely hot it doesn't feel like it is at least on me um and that's because it is like on the thinner side but you still get to kind of play around with layering things on top which is why i enjoy the cooler temperatures so much because i feel like you can experiment so much more with fashion because you can add more things you know this is fully see-through i know i'm still in the mesh but this time it's white. This is a fully see-through, like maxi length kind of dress. I like this a lot. And even looking at it, it almost seems like it wouldn't be my thing. And it also kind of feels low-key high key counterbalance. And the reason for that being is it's a dress, but of course, you'd have to then put stuff underneath it. In my head, I see this fully as like a grunge. In the sense where I see this with like banshees underneath, with t-shirt dresses underneath, like graphic things underneath, um, to kind of bring in that element. I'm seeing like even like plain turtlenecks and stuff, like lots of silver jewelry, intense boots, like my docks or like other platform boots or something like that. I'm seeing like even if I did just want to keep the vibe of the actual dress itself, I could totally wear like a black tank crop top or a bralette and like some shorts or like a black skirt or something and just have the dress itself be the main key focal point with like a leather jacket. I think this, though it in and of itself doesn't look like a lot, this is like such a cool interesting layering piece. And see boots. What? I know. I know. So months ago, I think it was because time is a figment of my imagination apparently. But whenever I did my thrift haul, like that, everything in there was pretty much thrifted, except I think the shoes. And that's because I don't actually own a lot of secondhand shoes. Um, I just don't. I normally, when I go thrifting, never really seem to find shoes in my size that I would also actually wear, you know? Um, so seeing these was definitely a treat. And I like that there's a bit of a platform to them, but it's, they're not like super heavy platforms. I like the lace-up detail on the front and on the side it's actually a zipper so I don't have to keep relacing and unlacing everything like that every single time I want to wear them 
I get to open up a side and that's it, which is fabulous. These also are a bit like taller on the leg. They hit me, I would say somewhere like mid calf, which is higher than my dots hit me. So I think that these are gonna add a bit something different and extra to my shoe collection, I guess you could say. I was so excited when I saw these and especially when they were my size, because again, normally I don't see cute shoes that are my size and style. But when I saw them, I immediately was like, oh, those are mine. This is also another item I'm really, really excited about. So I had also, I've been seeing the mom jean trend ever since the mom jean trend started. And I've always liked them, but I've always seen them in like blue. I don't know if you do this, but I don't really wear blue jeans. I think I have like four or five different pairs of blue jeans and I wear them very sparingly because that's just not really my thing. I don't hate blue jeans, but I don't really love them. Like, I like them for certain outfits and at certain times, but I don't really, they're not my go-to. I mostly just wear blue jeans. Um, so I had wanted to find a pair of mom jean jeans that fit me, genuinely, and were black. Um, and I found this pair when I was first, which I think these were like, these were kind of more on the expensive side for sure, but I think they were like 10, 14? I don't know, they were above 12, and above 10. But these are so good. They are not like really faded at all. I washed them myself once I got them, like you should be doing too. Not just because of Rona. It's because you're getting it secondhand. You don't know what detergent they use. Maybe it irritates your skin. You should just wash with your foot of clothes regardless. I, I hope that this isn't rude for anybody. <laughs> anyway, I got these. These are, oh, they're from Zara. Okay. They're um, originally from Zara Authentic Denim by TRF. Branches are. This is like a 24, which is perfect for me. Um, and the length, like the actual width of like the pants, isn't too wide on me either. And they hit me at like that perfect like mom jean length. I have them cuffed currently because I plan on actually wearing them today. So, <laughs> but um, I like the look of these so freaking much. They also are nice and high waisted and fit my waist without me actually having to wear them. Like I can wear a belt, but I don't have to. One of these items, this the next two items I'm gonna be showing you are both from Disturbia. Um, I got this t-shirt dress. It is really like, I would say true to size in the sense of, well not true to size, it's oversized, but you can order true to what your actual size is and I think it should be fine, but also do keep that with a grain of salt because I am very flat. Okay, and the reason I say that is because I know with like t-shirt dresses or things that are meant to be oversized, it depends upon your body shape and may not actually fit you oversized in your actual size. For me, I ordered a small and it's still oversized for me and actually fits like a leather dress length on me. I still am slightly nervous in the sense of I don't want to flash anybody, so I still wear shorts underneath, but that's because I have a fear. So, but I like wearing this with like lots of necklaces. Stuff. I've also worn this with like a skirt on top, kind of like tucking it into a skirt. I think that's really cute. I haven't, I think, haven't worn it with vinyl pants. I maybe have. If I haven't, that is probably going to happen at some point because I can see that. Um, I just like this because it's really nice and I feel like it's such a simple thing in the sense where it's basically an outfit in one bodysuit. This is actually the first bodysuit I ever got and is one of the reasons why I got the other bodysuit while I was thrifting because I kind of want to get more bodysuits because they're dope. So every time I go thrifting, I go look for them. I usually come out empty handed in that department, but that's fine. So this is a really cute bodysuit. It's fully mesh as you probably assume that is like fully my size. Like I said, I love mesh every and everything. And it just says Memento Mori on it with a little skull detail <laughs> on it, which is so adorable it's so simple the neck is like a nice mock neck so it's not like a full turtleneck it just comes up a little bit which is still kind of leaves room for you to play around with, like necklaces for me personally with mock neck tees i don't like to do shorter necklaces um i usually will just start at once that kind of hit about on my chest or so so that way i still get to play around with jewelry in that area without necessarily interacting with the neck because otherwise shorter necklaces find a way to like tangle with that i don't know how they do it but they do it so this one's really nice, the length of it's really good. The material is stretchy, which is so great in any sort of mesh item that we get because we want it to be able to stretch 
over everything. And then the next store that I got like stuff from is Unzi store? Unzi store? Unzi store? I'm not really sure exactly how to fully pronounce it. I've only ever seen it written. Um, but they're like a Korean fashion style store. I mean, you've probably seen them on Instagram. Probably also have seen plenty of other haul videos of them, like huge hauls like, on YouTube. I don't have a huge haul, I have two items. So, <laughs> but I am just gonna talk about them pretty briefly here. And I am also gonna talk about sizing. So, um, one of the items that I picked out, which I've been looking for another pair of like black jean shorts. Um, there's full pockets in front and the back which is fabulous, the belt loops are amazing. The waist fits me really, really well. The bottom parts of them are like fully like shredded. There's like a hole here and kind of like shredding up there as well too. So they are on the shorter side, like I'm talking about like, if I bend over, you're welcome, but there's my butt. So <laughs> that's fine. But with it kind of getting cooler outside, again, I think these would go really well with like tights, but maybe not fully blacked out tights like I tend to wear. Maybe like a sheer pair of tights, like in the sense where like a medium thick, like a medium sheerness. So for the shorts, since it is like a Korean fashion brand, they do have like Asian sizing. So in these, I got the size medium, which they also say is a size eight. Y'all, I'm a size two normally, so. <laughs> Do take that with a grain of salt. If you order from the store, it's really, really important that you look at their style, like, um, or not their style. If you order from the store, it's really, really important that you actually look at their sizing guide, simply because if you don't, you may very much so order the wrong size, or it'll come way too small, or like way too big, or something like that. So it's best to just actually go by the sizing guide, measure yourself if you have to. I did and went with a medium and they fit me perfectly. That being said, I did get this uh, skirt here. Um, I know you've seen this style of skirt like pretty much everywhere online, but I thought this was really cute because with like it being chillier outside, I also find that people tend to be a little bit more on the edgier side with their style. Like it's almost like people realize you can actually wear dark lipstick again. I don't know why y'all would give that up just because it's not, I guess, more weather appropriate. I wear a dark wig year round. It's nothing. Nobody really cares. But, you know, most people are now realizing that, oh, it's okay to wear like darker colors now. We can wear navy. So, with that, I find that a lot of people actually go more for like faux leather and like actually adding like more heavier masculine kind of pieces. This is not a masculine piece by any sort of word. But the material itself, I think, is one of those ones that becomes a lot more trendier in the fall season. Now, I, of course, will be wearing this year-round because this is my style. <laughs> but I like that it had the uh, loops instead of, like, normal belt loops, but it's, like, metal ones around the whole entire perimeter of the skirt, which I think is really cute. I like the pleats in it. I feel like we're starting to see, like, a resurgence of, like, pleated skirts, either, even when they come in, like, plaid or, like, different kinds of materials. I feel like pleated skirts are definitely a thing, which I really enjoy. So, I got this. I do kind of wish the skirt was a bit shorter. I am debating upon cutting it. I also got this in a size large because this is the first item I'd ever gotten from the store, and I really like this one. I feel like the material is pretty good. It, like, it's lined on the inside, so it's not scratchy or, like, anything like that underneath when you're wearing it and it has a nice like flow to it like when you're walking it like bounces the last item i want to talk about that is kind of like part of this whole collective haul this was also sent to me as well I mean, this looks like absolutely nothing when it's not on me but girl let me tell you it's actually really cute so it's this really cute like faux leather like it's like vegan leather harness from one of my favorite favorite like jewelry stores online hellflower the wings on the back i have seen some people wear it on the front um but i like it on the back i think it's cute that way and it kind of just wraps around like kind of like their um like kind of like wraps around like this goes over your shoulder and then down the front and then to the back and it's really cute and simple i think it's nice i actually wore this when i went to ikea recently this was after Halloween, I don't care. So that basically completes my entire collective haul at the moment. Here. Now, of course, I, I love everything fashion. 
so I'm always like keeping my eye out for like trends and stuff like that so I'm always talking about fashion um let me know what your favorite piece is down below if you do want to see more of me and more content from me please follow me over on my Instagram my handle is that up ugh dot k-e-r-i-a I post fashion and beauty content there all the time and by all the time I mean every day <laughs> I also started a TikTok as of I have reposted some of my TikToks on Instagram. My handle there is Unk, U G H K E R I A. So same name. Try to keep everything streamlined as possible. <laughs> so if you want to follow me over on TikTok, feel free to as well. It's pretty much it. Um, any of my other socials will also be linked down below. But yeah, uh, hope to see you somewhere on the internet here soon. And please do. Take care.